Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Richard here, and this is um, part eight, I suppose, of the um, Glorfonia, um, Columbia Glorfonia 118, model 118. Um, and it's the, the last one, really, because we've now, I've got to the point where, uh, and we've come to the point where we've, I've finished the whole thing. So I'm really looking forward to showing you the final, uh, completed uh, tabletop um, gramophone. And um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And it's been a real interesting journey uh, for me. Uh, and I've really come to love this machine. I suppose you become, it becomes part of your DNA almost, that you're, you, you're with it so much. And, complete, and, and considering how it was when I first um, uh, took it on, when it first arrived with its electric arm and uh, very battered, and uh, you know, not in a very good state at all. It had been actually, um, it was probably in a loft for many years, and then it was cleared out when the lady that uh, from uh, Northampton, Northampton um, bought it, and then it was chucked into a skip, and then from the skip it was put on a on a on a, uh, uh, a boot sale and purchased by somebody from there, and then um, the lady who sold it to me um, just packed it up, and so what I did the electrical side of things, the electrical arm, um, I sold that separately on eBay and put that money back in the pot basically and um, then I've sourced from my own parts box to put this very nice, very nice sounding um, uh, horn machine, internal horn machine back on the road as they say. So it's been a real journey. Before I actually play um, a very nice record which I've sourced from what I call my red box collection which I'll show you shortly um, which is stored in the garage along with the car um, because I just haven't got room in the house. Uh, I thought I'd just mention to you a bit of a shout out for Memory Lane. Um, just two things really that um, uh, there's going to be an event in October, Memory Lane event. Um, I don't know, probably quite a few of you may know or be already members of Memory Lane. Um, I find the uh, magazine an extremely interesting read, um, especially when you wake up in the morning and uh, with a nice cup of tea, sitting up in bed and you know you want to chill out a bit. There's some really interesting things and Ray Pallet, who um, is the editor of uh, Memory Lane, does a splendid job. I'm really glad I've um, found this particular society. And um, in October this year we're going to have another one of those wonderful events at the Artist Club in London uh, and uh, Brendan, Brandon Shaw is going to be there singing um, with his band and um, so I, I think it's worth, um, worth paying the £15 of a subscription to Memory Lane and there's some really interesting articles. If you like um, dance band, El Boli and gramophones this is definitely the magazine for you. This particular month, this is the this is quarterly it comes out. This is the summer edition of 2015. There's a there's a chap called Dave Cooper in here who's done a fantastic um, article about um, talkingshalak.com. He's his uh, website and um, recording quality issues and uh, record manufacture. And there's some really good bits in here that I didn't realise about Shalak Records and how they were actually recycled, uh, how companies would add grit to the record mix so that the gramophone needles would actually wear and, and uh, you know, obviously didn't have much of the sound and real the sort of quality of gramophone records from the early um, non-recording days to the recording days. So I just thought I'd mention that. There's also um, a, a very nice article in the back by uh, written by a young man called um, where is it here? I was reading it this morning. Uh, well, I can't find it now. It's always the way, isn't it? Let me just hang on a second. Uh, there we go. Always the way. As soon as I. There's also an article about um, Desert Island Discs with, about Jack Payne, which is in here this time. And Harry Parr Davis as well. There's a bit about his music. He was a music writer. Um, and um, there's a record I've got, which I have played on YouTube, which is uh, Sing As You Go, which is sung by Al Bowley. That was written by him. Uh, here we go. Um, Helen Clare, a very nice article about Helen Clare Rice by Simon Robinson. I just thought I'd give a shout out to that because it really is a very nice, uh, I know, the whole thing is a very nice magazine, nicely produced and certainly worth the money. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to take um, Mr. Um, 
Mr. GoPro Hero 4, which we're back using. You probably noticed that you're, you've got the HD little uh, symbol come up down there in the um, subscribers list there. Um, as um, uh, the Panasonic has gone back in the cupboard, as it were, and uh, Mr. Hero is back from Sicily, where he went on holiday and with my son James and his girlfriend Gemma and did some really good stuff. I mean, these cameras are fantastic and uh, uh, James was showing me yesterday evening um, how uh, he's put the video together and it's really great. I mean, underwater stuff and some very nice scenes, certainly, you know, and very easy. We're actually off uh, on a, very soon on a charity walk to raise money for Cancer Research UK and uh, going from Bluebell Hill to Canterbury in Kent, which is about 25 miles, with uh, James's colleagues from the UCA at Rochester. And I give a shout out for that because um, they've raised um, quite a lot of money. I think it's around £2,000 or something and uh, for Cancer Research UK. Also, coming up on the following weekend, there's going to be a, another walk, the North Downs Walk, with the Rotary Club, starting in Harwichon, which I'm looking forward to, which we always enjoy on the North Downs. Fantastic, they're quiet and such a lovely walk. If you like walking, like I do, and hiking and climbing, uh, it's a great, great event. Anyway, sorry, I'll waffle on. And uh, so I'm going to take uh, Mr. GoPro off the stand here. There we go. So here we go. So right. We've got the uh, lid back on again and everything's in place. So without further ado, I'm going to play you this Piccadilly record, label record. Um, Bob and Alf Pearson, a duet with piano, and it's When You're Smiling. You'll probably recognise this tune. Um, and um, it's actually um, one of the many ones that I've got. I've got some other ones I've been testing out this afternoon. So I'm going to release the break and um, see how you, what you think. for the background noise the uh, wind has got up this afternoon and um, the, the uh, workshop door is banging a bit there so I do apologize for any background noise but uh, as you can see everything's back in place and uh, the only thing I've had to do is I had to make an arresting point 
for the tone arm and sound box because um, if you turn the arm back and then try and close the lid it won't it, it fouls the lid so but it does actually close very nicely now and as you can see the, the, I've given it a coat of about four coats of varnish high gloss varnish and it really looks fantastic everything looks very nice and I'm very very pleased with the uh, how it's turned out so it's really really great um, just moving outside slightly I'm just going to show you the red box this is the red box uh, lots of nice records out here don't play these that often uh, but there's some quite a few gems in here this lot was given to me and I what I did over years ago I cleaned them up and then repaired all the cases and then put them back uh, I don't play them that often but um, if I find any gems I'll put them back onto YouTube and uh, we'll take it from there everything's working perfectly the stay pops into place what is interesting though is I never sometimes I have trouble getting them to back to work this one actually settled back quite nicely uh, I've also polished the varnished the record cleaner. This came with it. I think it's a Gilbert one actually. It looks like Gilbert on there. I'll give that a coat of, of, of uh, varnish. And um, I think this little plinth I made here actually fits quite nicely. The whole thing does fit together very, very well. And I'm really pleased with it all. So, But there we go. That's the um, Viva Tonal Columbia Glorfonia 118. And look forward to your kind comments. Speak to you all very soon.